I had seen him at one of my stepdaughter's wedding. We knew each other years ago. And he asked me things like, did my nose work? And I liked and appreciated that, you know. And what was it like having been beautiful and then not? He wasn't afraid to talk to me, to talk about things. And we got married a little over two years ago. His name is Happy, and we have a wonderful life together. He calls me beautiful, and I love him. <laughs> It is a strange truth, but the truth is I am a happier person. I am more grounded, more centered, more connected and integrated with who I am and grateful for who I am today. I'm working with other people now as a practitioner. I think that you can make a choice and that you do make a choice when things happen in life. stood out in the rain in quite a while. There's a general uh, lay sense that all adversity is bad, and the scientific research doesn't really support that. One of the key ingredients to happiness is being able to recover from adversity more quickly. So it's not that people who are happy don't respond to adversity. They do. They show an appropriate response to adversity. But they come back down to baseline quickly. <laughs>